Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York and I have to tell you, you need to watch Rusty's video today, The Ozark Duke. I will put that link in for that video because Duke fought, Duke found Mr. Brown misbehaving and I just found Mr. Brown misbehaving. He must have known he was in trouble because he just made a little mess on the floor that was not the nicest. I have to go back when I'm done with the video. I have to go back and mop the floor. I'll have to vacuum first because there's always that dander stuff that he drops around. So I'll have to dust that or vacuum that up first and then mop the floor. So Duke, thank you very much for seeing how naughty my chicken is. I'm telling you. And today in the mail, no, this is the happy stuff. That was that was sort of taking care of business kind of stuff. Um, today I got two cards in the mail. I got one from Pamela, from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And I will I will um, open it up. It's a real pretty Christmas card. Look at this, how pretty. Thank you, Pamela. This is so thoughtful. I haven't sent cards in years. Maybe it's time I start again. I used to went 40 years ago. Oh. <laughs> That's how many years. A long time. And I got a card from... Gail, which is Gail Southern Living, and I will show you her card. It's beautiful. These are beautiful. Look how pretty. Thank you, Gail. That is so nice. And I was I was tagged by um by Kimber. She wants me to do a tag. I did do this tag a long time ago, and it was the tag that was how how this blue booger, I don't even want to say it because I don't like it, how this blue booger has affected us. You want to take those cards? i got to find it. I had it on top, I thought. I've got to, look at all, these are all tags that I have done. And, and these, and this is jokes. Those aren't tags. That's tags there. Those are tags. I did one on the blue booger. That one was how it was impacting you. But that's not the one she tagged me in. She tagged me in the one where it, I have to tell you how many rolls of toilet paper I have. That's the one that she tagged me in. What did I do with this? Uh, oh, that's, this one This one is a 40 question tag, whether I want a hot dog or a hamburger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one's whether um, what inspired me to start making videos and what must my name mean. And would I rather play board games or a movie with me? Um, let's see. <coughs> What's this one? Have you ever cut down a, your own Christmas tree? <laughs> weight loss. When did you start gaining weight? Oh my goodness, all these different ones. Age and how much lost over what time frame? Oh, age. My age and how much lost over what time frame and how long it took. That's another one on keto. And how old were you when you started going gray? I did that one. Um, this one was from Ann. Do you prefer cold lemonade to cold tea or some for a summer drink? You may not even have it. I have it here. It's got to be here. Um, I just did the the twenty question tag by Laurie, which was um, my favorite Christmas song. Um, favorite cool weather food was another one that was by Keto Marnie. Um, perfect. Think, it's probably the last one. I think one. you left it in the other room. I didn't leave it in the other room. I don't think. Did you subscribe right away to it? This one's the perfect perfect tag for um, subscribers. Did you sub Do you subscribe right away when you find out a new channel video or try videos first? Well, I check the videos first and I kind of describe or subscribe. If they've subscribed to me, if they've got open subscription. So, in other words, if you've got open and sub subscription, oh boy, that's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> I will... Um, Follow you behind. Follow you behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Do you like blue cheese? Well, certain times of the year. What time do you normally go to bed? <laughs> and what is your name? And who named you? Maybe I did leave it in the other room. I it's think not you here. Left it. Yeah. Ugh. I had it separated out. I'll have to go get it. Whoa. I'm pretty sure it should have been here. Gosh, unless uh, it's in this first, it. maybe it's in this first half. Oh, it's in the first half under the jokes, of <laughs> course. And one of the, I'll read one of the jokes. Um, <laughs> I don't do good with jokes, but anyways, 
did you know or did you hear this one I did before that FedEx and UPS are merging and they're going to be named fed up did you hear that I, I had not heard that you hadn't how come not oh yes I did yes you did what but they're they're called fed up yeah they're fed up that's what they're called but no you didn't hear because why oh I heard YouTube <laughs> Twitter and Facebook emerging and they'll be called you twit face <laughs> See, you didn't you didn't see that I, it's it's he he didn't follow it very well today, no. but that's okay. Um, what do you call a deer with no eyes? I have no idea. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that was a whole bunch of these <laughs> these uh, these were jokes you know, that I think Emily must have put out. Well, my tag where did I put it? Now? Right below that. Right, right below there. it. Okay, I did this tag a long time ago. In fact, I tagged a bunch of people. I, I've still got you clipped here who I tagged, but I, I'm not going to tag anybody on this. But if you'd like to do it, I will put the questions, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know if I have them still. If I still have them in my computer, they'll be into your more section. If I don't have them in the computer, oh well. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Just <laughs> don't do it. But if you want to do it, you do it. <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. Question, first question was, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have at this moment? Well, I have three bathrooms, actually, two and a half. Two full and one half bath. And I have probably 12 and 12, 24 roll, rolls, approximately. I'm not sure. I didn't count them. And then I have a roll on top of the washer because that's for Mr. Brown. So maybe I have 25 rolls. I don't know. What has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Well, we're not really locked down, but the biggest change is how um, people... Let's see, what did I say last time? I have no idea what I said last time, so don't go looking. Uh, it's different now because we've been doing this for a long time. The biggest change is my daughter had a date with her boyfriend, and it was crazy because he had his conversation in his car, and she had her conversation in her car. So they were in their own little bubbles. But they've, they've gone past that now. They're, they're meeting in person. <laughs> in the same room. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they go in the same car or not yet. But they do go in the same room. Um, <laughs> they did the other day when they came over. Yeah, when they came here because they had dinner with us. But we ate at a table that was 10. It's a 10-foot round table. Or 8-foot. Mm -hmm. What is it? 10? I don't know. It's a big mm. table. It's a big conference table. It's probably a 10-foot. It seats eight people. I think it's, yeah, it's probably uh, six foot across. But. Six? Well, it felt like 10 feet away. <laughs> well, <laughs> where are you currently parked? Well, I park in my driveway, and that's where I parked with my camper. I took a stay vacation. Stay vacation. I sit in there and watch the cars go by or sit in there and listen to the videos because I've got the booster that goes from my house it's in my daycare and my daycare I'm in my daycare at the moment this used to be the baby's room but um, the camper was parked right outside of this area so that it was getting the the signal for the internet so I was able to watch some videos while I sat in my staycation in my camper in the driveway now it's parked in the garage um, what have you done without, without recently? Mm -hmm. Everything's pretty much the same. It's just that I have to beg Jim to go shopping now, whereas before I didn't have to beg him because he doesn't want to really go. But that's the only thing that's different, I guess. I've gone out, gone without having to, I've gone, I don't know, I've gone, I've been begging, which I used to not have to, so that's, mm -hmm. I guess, I don't know. What are you most grateful for? I'm grateful for my life not changing, I guess. I don't know. There are a lot of things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for a lot of things that you all th are thinking of right now. I'm grateful for that, too. Okay. <laughs> what do you miss the most? Hmm. No, I don't know what I miss the most. How long have you been since you've been in a campsite? Oh, gosh. That's a sore, sore topic. <laughs> Because 
Ever since he's been wanting to take the motorcycle, we don't go to campsites anymore. We went to Florida in 2010 with the camper. I think it was 2000. Right after, no, no, that we took the motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. It was before that. <laughs> How old is Paige? Oh, gosh, Paige is in fifth grade. <laughs> So, I so it's been was... a long time. She was like one year old, two year old. I think she was two maybe at the time. I don't know. Or no, Abigail was little. I, oh, I think she was pregnant with Paige. When Could we be. Were... Abigail was just a baby, <laughs> and she was a naughty baby. But mm -hmm. so that's that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, we didn't go to Disney because she was being so naughty. Um, let's see. What was our favorite quarantine food? Well, I. I was eating anything I felt like eating, and I was on keto all this time until just recently. Just recently, I started eating my um, Mediterranean kind of food, the food that I really like, really like. So I've been going back to that. So I don't have any real quarantine food. If I had a choice, I'd eat potato chips every day, but can't eat potato chips. I don't even buy them because if I buy them, I... But, I only eat like five or six little chips a day. I make the bag last because I know I'm not going to buy them again. Okay, how are you exercising during or doing workouts? Well, I was walking the driveway when I had to get those 5,000 steps every day at least. But now I just kind of walk back and forth to the kitchen. I go check on Mr. Brown and I pick up his poops. And I'm doing the squat challenge with myself because I want to get strong enough to where I can do that. And and when I do do it, it's going to be for more than more than the minute. It'll be for two minutes, I'm hoping to do. But I'm going to have to talk through it, so that'll be just a real joy. Because when you talk and exercise, it really makes it harder because you're breathing and your muscles are working and your mouth is going. And yeah, my tongue is my strongest muscle, probably. Let's see, are you, who are you challenging next? I'm supposed to choose people. I'm not going to challenge anybody. So if you'd like to do this, uh, it's called the um, quarantine. I don't know what it's called. Ta uh, the first tag for this was from Vicki Marie and Marna. And Keto Marnie. Yeah. I call her Marna. Because that's her real name, but it was Keto Marnie is how she's got it. The Keto Cocheer. She was the one that first tagged me with this along with Vicki Marie, Living Life. I wrote it, I wrote it on here. You're on here. Um, so that's it. Okay, should we end with a joke? I'll give you a joke. Um, let's see. Um, 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 um. I did that one. I don't want to do that one again. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll do one off of here. I want to, want, to, want to find it. Where the heck is it? Oh, what do you call a cow with no legs? <laughs> That's a good one. What do you, I told you. Do you remember? Ground beef. <laughs> yeah, it's ground beef. Okay. I mm -hmm. hope you all have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this tag. It was a little different, but thank you very much, Kimber. Keto Life. She changed her name to um, Every Day, or I don't know. I, I'll put it in there, whatever it was, with Kimber. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.